Well, uh, this is an interesting story. It's another thing where the uh, hypocrisy of the uh, medical system combined with the uh, judicial system is uh, totally lacking and uh, craps all over U.S. military, uh, former U.S. military. This was about a former U.S. Marine, Murdo, and uh, M-U-R-D-O-U-G-H. Uh, he was found uh, trespassing. He was a homeless guy, right? He was homeless. He didn't have a, you know, he didn't have anything. He was trespassing. So they put him in jail for observation in a psychiatric ward, and uh, he either had was given a prescription, <coughs> a prescription for antipsychotic drugs or anti seizure medication or something like that, or he was probably what I think. I'm going to interject this. They might have gave him something on top of that, which made him just go to sleep or not think hard or whatever the hell it was. Well, he was in this cell, which has no air conditioning. And, um, you know, it was like a little window you can open up. And he didn't do that. And he basically overheated and died. You know, he died from heat. Uh, he's probably, you know, out of it or some shit. They probably gave him something. That's what my suspicion is. Not that they admit it. And nobody checked up on him. But this was a former Marine. And this is typical of the system. You know, I got a real beef with these psychiatrists. Because they're the biggest freaking drug dealers on the planet. And everybody walks around like they're good. And I know there's a lot of drama freaks that got to have something wrong with them. Uh, that they love to have a diagnosis of something that it's like, uh, you know, it's my crutch, there's my cross, uh, look what I have to bear, uh, I'm this, I'm that, and they just love to be diagnosed with something because, you know, it's attention seeking. Uh, and, you know, the psychiatrists and doctors and everything, but psychiatry is like, it could be anything. If you look at that um, diagnostic codes, whatever the hell they have out there, it's like uh, there's so many of them that aren't even saying something that's specific. It's unspecified. They got like a couple dozen categories at least that say unspecified, besides it not being an empirical science. But it's well proven that these drugs actually are uh, very harmful for the people. And you know, if there's ever really a true witch hunt where they ought to get rid of this rotten profession, this satanic profession, it's a psychiatric, the psychiatric profession, uh, because it ought to be whittled down to like nothing, because most of it is uh, not correcting the problem. They mask the problem. And, uh, you know, in a situation where, you know, maybe this guy was a homeless guy or whatever, and, you know, it could be where he was having some problems with something, it could be from lack of nutrition, but you know, they'll give him a psychiatric medicine. But he was trespassing, and basically, uh, for trespassing, they killed him. They killed him. In its essence, in short, that's what happened to a former Marine. And uh, because the cell he was put in, first off, you know, nobody checked up on this guy, which was totally against procedure. There was a little window that could have been opened up, which is really fucked up in itself. You know, it should be a hell of a lot better than that. Uh, you know what I mean? But uh, he didn't open up the window. Then I suspect they gave him something. I suspect they did. And that's probably why he didn't even have the sense to open up the window. Because he might have been out of it. They're clowns, man. You can't trust these fucking guys in the psychiatric thing. They're drug dealers. They, they're freaking... And I know there's people that eat this stuff up. They, it's, it's like it's a mixed bag. I mean, it's some people that got problems for real. They probably need something. There's some legitimate use for some of this stuff. But it's abused to the freaking max. And basically, psychiatrists are way uh, overpaid drug dealers. And they love to get you on drugs for any problem. They make them up. They make them up. They're a bunch of bullshit. But uh, they screw up the former military, too. you got to really watch. I would never, <laughs> you know, you say anything, anything to these jackasses. They'll say you need something because that means, you know, hey, hey, there's a, there's a you know, it's money in their pocket. Um, but, you know, I also have to point out this. You know, a lot of people think, you know, the current generation won't fight. 
uh, for the country or whatever. That's never true. And um, they used to say this before World War II. You know, they were surprised how they dedicated it. And then they, you know, after that, they think it wasn't the same. You know, the generation after that is like lazier and more lax. But when pushed to the wall, it changes real fast. And this is another observation. I could tell you this is true across the globe, too. Um, a lot of times, the people who fight the wars are the poorest people. And sometimes they're like the semi criminal element. You know, there's been a lot of times in the past, used to be, you know, not now, but it used to be, you want to go to jail or you want to join the Marine Corps? That was an option. You know, you did, you freaking, you're, you're, you want to go to jail or you want to go to the Marine Corps? That was a lot of times that was, a, that was an option at a court. And uh, also, you know, it's been a lot of times, there's been uh, some of the toughest criminal elements or semi-criminal elements, they're not like totally bad criminal criminals, uh, were the ones that fought the most for the nation. But that's not even just applicable to the United States. Uh, that was applicable to Japan. Japan too. Iwo Jima, the Japanese and Iwo Jima, you know, the Marine Corps, that's that's one of the biggest, uh, where the most, uh, you know, stellar reputation probably came from the Marine, United States Marine Corps, but the Japanese fought very hard on there too. And the type of Japanese were, that were over there were basically from the lower strata of society at that time, even though the Japanese today consider them like revered heroes in its sacred land. I mean, you know, it's like unexpected, man. It's unexpected. I also got to say this, too. I mean, I'll, I don't want to get too racial here or anything like that, but, uh, you know... I'm saying I'm actually saying this in a positive way, you know. Um, the Russians, being how they are, for one, uh, they got a head about this big. They think they're God on Earth, and um, in my opinion, they don't like anybody that's of their culture, even if you're white. Even you know, they don't like any. They, they you got to be Russian, or that's it. That's it. If they came and tried to do anything in the United States, they'd be worse than the plantation owners of the Old South. That's a fact. That's a fact. And I think there's a lot of people in the United States who wouldn't want that shit to happen. Including me. Including me. They're damn straight, I don't like those fuckers at all. I don't. They got big heads. They think they're God on Earth. They think they're special. They think they're special. Like when Russia uh, finally beat Germany in World War II, you think that was the end of it? Nah. They raped millions and millions of women, man. You can sit back in your armchair and say, oh, yeah, it's a debate, it's a debate. But once the freaking thing actually, you know, there's something that gets happens, there's no debate. There's no debate. There's no game. There's no game. You know, I kind of diverged on this a little bit because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't see the big picture of a lot of this shit because uh, the situation is the people that have the least money uh, and are not considered the highest strategy of society in a lot of times, you know, the highfalutin, phony bullshit, are the ones that fake and freaking defend the country all the time. All the time, man. It really is. And that applies to other countries, too. Other countries are like that, too. But, uh, you know, I think this is disgraceful, what they did with this Marine. It is. It's totally disgraceful. They should be charged with freaking involuntary manslaughter on this crap. Not just dereliction of what they freaking did. Involuntary manslaughter. In other words, if you're freaking crossing the street and, uh, you know, you ain't looking where you're going with the freaking car and you run this guy over... You know what that is? You killed him, right? You killed him, right? Well, they were in charge of watching this guy, and I think they gave him some kind of crap when he went in there, and that's why he was probably out of it where he didn't open up the little window. Even though they don't state that and they don't admit that, I suspect that was the deal. I suspect that was the deal. And I don't think this guy should have ever been on any kind of medications anyway. It might have been uh, a nutritional 
in balance from uh, him being homeless. You know, he might have been lacking in some type of nutrition, which caused a problem or whatever the hell it is. And actually, these jerks, they'll find a problem where there is no problem. That's the way they are. That's the way they are, you know? So uh, I think this is uh, highly uh, despicable to the, to the max. But uh, the nation will always find people to fight for the nation. And they're the most unappreciated people going. They always are. They always are, man. That's just how it is. And uh, in this nation, you know, it looks like we got a lot of armchair assholes freaking rooting for freaking uh, Vladimir Putin left and right. And uh, I'm telling you right now, uh, if you if any kind of history is the same, you know, you say, oh, it never happened. It'll happen. It'll happen. You know, is a repeat of what happened before. The Russians, what they did in Eastern Europe and what they did to Germany, after World War II, if they ever have a peacekeeping force come here in the United States, it's going to be worse than that. Worse than that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. Them Russians are a bunch of damn racists over there in the Soviet Union. I'll call them the Soviet Union. I don't call them the Federation because it looks like Vladimir Putin is trying to install the old Soviet Union again. You know, he's playing games a little bit more one step at a time. One step at a time. I read his little bullshit long-winded speech. He's full of it. He's full of it. The Crimea is primarily Russian. It's because they freaking killed everybody else and deported them and installed Russians over there. Just like a freaking uh, worse than anything that anybody did in the West, except maybe ten times worse. Those Russians are racist. And uh, I hate to put it that way, but that's exactly what the hell it is. You know, it's probably going to come down to that some of the people that, you know, they see are not so great in the inner cities and maybe, you know, a little bit of problem here and there, you know, maybe that's racist or whatever, they're going to be the ones fighting against that for the United States of America and protecting all Americans' freedoms. You know that? That's probably what it's going to come down to. That's probably what it's going to come down to, man. But, you know, this guy, you know, this guy was black that got fucked over. That's what pisses me off because, you know, it's like... I don't know. This this fucking pisses me off. You probably had some fucking asshole white Dilbert in there taking making three hundred thousand dollars or five hundred thousand dollars a year, giving him some bullshit, stupid medicines. This guy didn't have a job. And he, he trespasses. They stick him in his place, and they basically roast him to death. You know, it just fucking pisses me off, man. I tell you the truth, but. Uh, that's how it is, man. That's how it is. And, uh, you know, they always find people to fight for the United States. It's the poor people. The people without the money. So, respect them. That's all I gotta say. Respect them.